Hey, good day everyone. Pase Bono here. We are now on this uh, January 16, 2024 NBA game day. We only got three games for today. And to kick things off, let's uh, start with this um, interconference battle between Denver Nuggets and Philadelphia 76ers. This one will actually start at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It's going to be 8.30 a.m. here in Manila. And I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Denver Nuggets approaching this game. Uh, they have a record of 28 wins and 13 losses. Well, for 76ers, they are at 25 and 13. So again, this is going to be a war. Both teams are doing great. And both teams actually are ranked number three in their respective conference. We all know that we actually provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel. But for those who would want to avail our premium picks or premium packages, you might want to reach us through our Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger account. Just check on the descriptions of our videos and you would see the details right there. By the way, the spread that is given on this uh, game is minus 4.5 and that's given towards Philadelphia 76ers. Philadelphia 76ers, they would have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of fatigue, we got to give it to Denver Nuggets because Philadelphia 76ers had their game last night against Houston. Now, in terms of momentum, this one's tough to pick because uh, both teams are actually coming off back-to-back -back wins. Um, but uh, since, you know, since Denver Nuggets, they have won 7 out of their last 10 as compared to Philadelphia, um, where they've just won 5 out of their last 10. Well, a lot of, a lot of those losses, Embiid wasn't playing. But again, still, I'm going to give a slight advantage towards Denver Nuggets because of the number of wins that they got for their last 10 games. All right? Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams. Starting with Philadelphia 76ers, DeAnthony Melton and Robert Covington are both confirmed out for this game. We also got uh, Mo Bamba, Kenneth Lofton, and Jaden Springer, all listed as a game-time decision for this matchup. So, again, for Philadelphia, two players are confirmed out, and there are other three who are tagged as game time decision. Now, if we will take a look at Denver Nuggets, this one's a bit long. Actually, when I, when I checked it out earlier, I was like, is this correct? And it is. Um, let's start with those who are confirmed out. We're talking about Kankar, Strother. Both are confirmed out for this game. And we have uh, KCP, Caldwell Pope, Aaron Gordon, MPJ, Michael Porter Jr., Jamal Murray, and Nikola Jokic, all listed as questionable or at game time decision for this matchup. So we're looking at their starting five. They're looking we're looking at their starting five all tagged as questionable or at game time decision for Denver Nuggets. So again, two are confirmed out, five are listed as questionable or game time decision for Denver Nuggets. So I gotta give it to Philadelphia seventy sixers uh having the advantage in terms of their health. All right, now this one's going to be so tough because of the because of a lot of things that we ain't sure in terms of who's going to play and who ain't, right? I mean, if you take a look at Denver Nuggets, we are looking at possibly uh, their starting five not playing, you know? But then again, they are still tagged as questionable, so we ain't sure yet. Now, who knows if all of a sudden all those five players will play? Who knows if, like, all of, all of those five will not play? So there are still a lot of unanswered questions right here. For uh, taking a look at Philadelphia 76ers, they they already have like a couple of players who are confirmed out, and they also have some players who are still tagged as questionable. So again, there are a lot of things to be considered in here. Uh, so maybe let's take maybe let's just take a look at those that we are sure of. Well, number one, uh, Philadelphia 76ers, they are at home, so they got that advantage. Number two, Denver Nuggets. For me, they are still uh, one of the best teams right now in the in the league, if not the best. Um, but they are very prone uh, to losing uh, whenever they are on the road. Whenever they are at home, I almost don't go against Denver Nuggets because again, they just play differently whenever they are at home for some weird reason. You know, the difference is just totally high. If you know what I'm saying. 
Um, number number three, Embiid is playing. You know, uh, I know Embiid, I know Embiid uh, played uh, last night against Houston. So uh, some some of you know some of the players are Philadelphia actually got some tired legs, but at least we're sure that that Embiid will be playing. That's 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 one thing uh, that I'm trying to you know trying to say. Um, I think some of the Denver Nuggets players are not playing in D because it started with minus one, and now it's minus four point five. I'm talking about the spread, so I don't know. Maybe the Cappers already learned that you know maybe a couple or maybe three players would not be playing, or if ever they will be playing, they will not be a hundred percent healthy. Then that's for sure, you know. So you won't, you won't be tagged it questionable in the first place if you you know um, if you're healthy. So. Again, this one's going to be tough. Either way, um, it's going to be, you know, it, it's going to be uh, um, like a rolling of a dice because, again, there are still things that we ain't sure of. So I'll go ahead and take take my chance with Philadelphia because, again, they are at home. They have a beat. Now, at, at least those are the stuff that I, you know, that we are sure of. So I'll take my chance with Philadelphia minus 4.5. Um, I know the Anthony Melton is not playing, and the Anthony Melton can actually help them a lot. But I'm actually, ex- I'm actually um, looking at the other uh, Philadelphia 76ers players who are willing to step up. And of course, I'm talking about Tobias Harris. I'm talking about Ubre, and of course, Tyrese Maxey. And again, at least for sure of those things. Again, our pick would be Philadelphia minus 4.5. That's 76ers minus 4.5. Peace out. Pasa el God bless.